In this video, I want to make sure that you're going away understanding what the difference is between a permutation and a combination. Now, if you're using these uh, in English, then usually um, they're synonymous. They're kind of, they can be used interchangeably. But with mathematical problems, um, they are quite different. Okay, they're linked, but there is a difference between the two. So I'll give you an ex a couple of examples. Um, if I'm going to talk about um, uh, a salad, so a salad has a combination of uh, tomatoes, uh, cucumber, and lettuce in it. Okay, um, does the order in which I've described that salad to you actually matter? Okay, could I have said it's uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, or lettuce, cucumber, and tomatoes, or lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers, or whichever? Okay, the fact is that the order in which they're added to the salad, or the way that I describe the salad, doesn't matter. However, uh, if I said um, the combination to um, the lock, or the combination to the safe, is 4, 8, 3, Okay, um, if you try to put in the numbers 843 or 384, the safe wouldn't open. And so the actual order for those numbers matters. Now, the definition that we're talking about here is it is a permutation if the order matters. Okay, and a combination if the order does not matter. Okay, so, um, and what's strange about that is that I use the example of a safe. Um, you might have heard of a combination lock. Um, so a combination lock requires you to have uh, the correct code, uh, so like 463 or 483, in the correct order. Okay, But actually, that's a permutation. So really, a combination lock should actually be called a permutation lock. Okay, so That's uh, one thing to take away from this. But ultimately, we just need to be able to pick out uh, from the problem, does the order matter or not? Okay, so for example, um, if you're going to need to pick um, for on a football team um, a striker, a goalie, and um, a uh, defence, okay, a defender rather, then clearly in that case the order is going to matter, okay. Um, but if I just need to pick. Uh, three members of my team, okay, three from a big group of people, then it doesn't matter in which order I choose them. So um, probably the way that I described that wasn't particularly very good. Let, let's try it again. So I've got um, <laughs> someone uh, who is in goal. So I've got a set of people who are very good at those uh, being goalie. I've got uh, some defenders, and I know who's good at defending. Um, and I've got some strikers I know who's very good at striking. Okay, So the way that I pick those is important, Okay, the order in which I pick them. However, if I just have a group of friends and I'm going to pick three to be on my team, it doesn't matter if I pick um, Bob, Alan, and Mary to be on my team rather than Mary, Bob, and Alan, for example. So there are slight differences between the permutation and combination idea. Um, it might be, uh, let's say, um, picking uh, two colours uh, in order. So what are your two favourite colours in order from a brochure? Um, so obviously that is a permutation because the order in this case matters. But if I said, oh, you can pick uh, any two of your favourite colours from the brochure, then it's a combination, okay, because the order didn't matter. Um, if you're going to pick a first, second and third winners 
okay, of a competition, then the order matters in who I pick to be first, second, and third. But if I say that there are going to be three winners um, of a prize, then it doesn't matter if I pick in which order I pick those people out. Okay, so there are these key differences, and we've got to read the question very carefully, and it'll become clear um, how the mathematics changes as we work through several problems in the later videos.